Tim, how do I look? I have to ask, first of all, I mean, how's the head after the ACC championship? It's good. It's good. Took took a little while to recover. Uh, but uh, but it's, it's good now. Good, ready, ready to roll. Do you remember anything about the fourth one? I mean, what do you remember? Uh, the first half uh, was a little, a little shaky, but uh, luckily had Estes come in and do a great job uh, the second half and performed uh, 100%. So really glad to have him uh, come in and, and, and take over for me. So, What is this like for a, a former walk-on limited playing time? To go yeah, it's it's incredible. It's incredible. It's a it's a blessing, man. It's just uh, wake up every day and thank God for this opportunity. Uh, it, it means so much to to me, and I hope it means a lot to my family. And uh, it's just, just so cool, man, just to be a part of it all. It's a blessing. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, last one, the fifth year, and. Uh, this isn't going to be my last game. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure of that. So we're going to we're going to take one more uh, after after this is over. Um, and yeah, man, just soaking up, enjoying it all, and uh, just hanging out with with the team, man. It's, this could be the last few weeks I get to spend with these guys, and uh, just just enjoying it all. So let's, let's have a little fun here. Who's yeah. A better tackler, you or Ammon Lake? Ammon Lake, up 100. percent Ammon's got more tackles this year than I, I mean. He's got more tackles than me this year. Obviously, I haven't had any. I think I had one one group tackle kind of thing. But Ammon had had, had one in the Notre Dame game, forced a fumble, probably one of the biggest plays of the game. Uh, he's got what? How many you got? Three? Three or four? Five. five. He's got five tackles for crying out loud. Uh, but yeah, he's uh, he's he's shown that he's the better tackler. Uh, we haven't we haven't lined up in practice and practiced and gone against each other yet. But I'm sure that's that's to come next week. So. Uh, but yeah, I, I have to give that award to Ammon for now. Let me see this real quick. We'll, we'll go to Ammon. Ammon, let's, uh, let's talk about this. What, what makes a keeper a good tackler? What makes you want to stick your nose in down there? Honestly, I've never played any other position or done a tackling drill in my life, so <laughs> it's kind of just all like effort and uh, just being in the right place at the right time. Uh, I'm not going to lie, a couple of those were just pure instinct like the Notre Dame for instance I hit a bad ball and that was just pure rage running down the field and the, the whole lowering my shoulder I don't think my neck will will handle many more of those so I think I'll just leave that one be and tackle low again no no more head down for yeah, sure uh nah I don't think uh South Carolina roughed me up a good bit but I, th I think that just comes with the, the rivalry. Do you feel a certain sense of satisfaction in the way that you've responded with this season? Yeah, I mean, someone once told me that, like, until you rise from a fall, um, how you come back is what truly defines you. So, I mean, that's, that's all I'm looking forward to do is continuing and, like, moving past what I've done in the, and just getting better as a person and as a football player. So. And now, now we've got David Estes here behind us. So, so let's, let's talk, first of all, I heard a rumor you needed to, to tell me whether it's true or not, that you were a high five guy. Yeah, that, that was my role last year. I mean, <laughs> coming on the spring as a walk on and then uh, really just being the high five guy and then the team GPA guy. Those were my two roles last year. Oh, that's a tough job. Almost as bad as the get back guy. Um, training the off season, uh, no, but just being there just as a support guy. Um, whenever someone Bradley last year, Ammon this year comes out, uh, has a great kickoff. Being there when they come back off the field to the sidelines, congratulating them. Um, any kind of kick, any kind of snap for Sobe last year, Jim this year. Um, just really, it's a cohesive effort for our whole unit and just adding to that support. Napo said that maybe even one, one or two times last year he'd say. Go give Vic a high five from off the field. Did he ever do that? Uh, nah, I can't say that was more Vic. I think there's some other guys that were reserved for that job, but uh, I was pretty much just solely the specialist high five guy. Talk about uh, you, know, you guys going to have a good competition next year to be the last. Yeah. What are, what are your thoughts? Um, I mean, I'm open for the competition. Uh, I know we've got two other great guys in Austin and uh, Bradley Tacko, and then. Uh, 
I don't know if anyone else is going to be brought on in the spring, but um, I've learned a lot in these past two years from Michael Sebeski and Jim Brown, and then got some experience here and there, and just ready for whatever's to come in the spring. Are you proud of the fact that your dad is like a local radio celebrity? Oh yeah, uh, Dave from Dave from Simpsonville. He's he's pretty he's pretty uh, well known on WCCP. Um, that he he used to be a morning show host. He'd fill in some when I was little, and then call in all the time. Going to going to school, even have me call in sometimes. So uh, it's it's been pretty much brought up in how I was raised. That just uh, I've been used to it.